What a wonderful day again to be with you on this hour of deliverance. We're so glad to be on your way today. We serve a mighty God. It is time to get your family together. Get your Bible. And let's see the word of God together. We're going to start with the word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you right now. We do thank you for this hour. Thank you for your power to change lives. Thank you for the appointment you have with your people today. Bless every single viewer of this program. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We're going to read today from the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 6, verse 1 to 11. Hana Rao Mitini Samuel Kapitlo Sita min verse we had a verse Hadashim. Tini Samuel Kapitlo Sita min verse we had a verse Hadash. Issa David Reja Jamal Rjil Mazulin Kolata Israel, Tletin Elf. U David Am, Umar Mal Poplu Kolo Likino Mia Ulein Bala, Tajuda. Bish Egypt Minem Larkatalla, Litis Sayah Blissem. Bissem in Mulei, Talezerjti, Liet for Il Kerubin. Wa Beular Catalla, for Karujdit, Uharjua Mindar Abinadab, Likinet Jibea. O Utsa o Ahio, Ulit Abinadab, Kino Isu Ulkaru Iljdit. Uharjo Mindar Abinadab, Likinet Jibea, Blar Catalla, O Ahio Kin Mishi Udim Larka. O David Udar Israel Colla, Kino Ido U Udim Il Muleib, Kulshurta Tastrumenti. Mamulin menin yam ta cipres, ubi cetri, ubarpi, ubi tnabar, ubi cimbli, ubi platti. Ushin was luhdein il iata nakom, utsa meti dulein larkatalla, u zamma. Ashil gnides kinusea ya elbua. U ada pil mulei, shell al utsa. U ala la tuem talinaas, u mitem hdein larkatalla. U david ela. Ashil mulei la ad bil xara lil utsa. U semma dakil post peres utsa salum. U David baza dakinar mil mulei u al. Kif tista larkat al mulei tiji andi. U David marij ida xalandu larkat al mulei fil belta David. Izda David warraba vdar obet edom il jitti. U larkat al mulei baad vdar obet edom il jitti. Tlet xur u l mulei birek il lil obet edom u lil daru kolla. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Friends, what we have just read, we're talking about the holiness of God. Today, I want us to examine the holiness of God. The Bible tells us that God is holy. You know, there was a time that the children of Israel wanted to bring the Ark of the Lord back to Jerusalem. And the Bible says that Uzziah was among the people carrying the Ark, among the people taking the Ark to Jerusalem. And there was like, in the, in the process that the Ark was about to fall, Uzziah Try to hold the ark. And the, and the Bible says that the Lord smite Uzziah at that spot. You know, God is a holy God. And all who serve God must be holy. I want us to look at the first instance in the Bible where introduced to a holy God. It's in the instance of Moses in Numbers chapter 20, verse 1 to verse 13. The Bible tells us there that there was about the uh, waters of Meribah. And the people of Israel were complaining to Moses. And they said to Moses, and to Aaron, Why did you bring us to this land to die in this land? And then Moses was now agitated with the people. 
وليك موسي جي اتاكات من داون النيس كولا and they said is here because there is no land to bury us in Egypt that's why you brought us to the wilderness to die وقالوا للموسي انت جبنا وبرا بش نموتوا وبرا في الديزرت عشان ما نسبارتيو فين يدفنونا اللي جتو the children of Israel were complaining because they had no water to drink وقالت اسرائيل كنوا انتي نقل قروش ما كلمش الماشي شوربو now open your Bibles let's read uh, the book of Exodus uh, Numbers chapter 20 let us see what the children of Israel said in verse 5. Yes. Verse 5. You see, they become the complaint of Moses. And they said, Is yet there's no water to drink in this place. And the Bible said the glory of the Lord appeared. Let's read all from verse 6 to verse uh, uh, 9. And verse 6 to verse 9. And the Bible said the glory of the Lord appeared. And the Bible said the glory of the Lord appeared. And the Bible وديرلهم الجلوريا تاع المولاي والمولاي كلم للموسي وقال له خول هتر ويجمع المجمع انتو ورون خوك وكلموا للبلاطة قدام عينيكم وتاتي للمطحة وتهرج لهم للمام البلاطة وتسقي للمجمع وللبيام تاعهم هللويا هللويا is it people God came down in the glory المولاي نزل في الجلوريا تاعو and God said to Moses وقال للموسي take your rod I'm going to show these people that I'm a holy God. But the events that followed after brought us into a contact with a wonderful and a holy God. Moses did not believe the Lord completely. And the Bible tells us that because of this incident, Moses did not enter the promised land. God is holy. And everyone that serves God must be holy. Now, I want us to so keep on reading that scripture. Let us read from verse 10 to verse 13. هنبدل كم نقرأ من فرس ديسا وموسى هل هتر من قديم الملاي بحال ما أردنا له وموسى وارون جمع والمجمع قديم البلاطة وموسى قال لهم اسمع وسا يا شويشة أنا أحنا نهرجوكم نهرجوكم للما من دين البلاطة وموسى رفع إيده وهبت البلاطة بالهتر تياو دربتين وبدأ يقل قل للما بالكترة وشربت المجمع والبيام وكل والملاي قال للموسى وللارون تلي ما امنتون ما امنتوش فيا بشتورو الادوسيه تاعي قدموا ليت اسرائيل انتم ما تدهلوش ديل مجمع فلارت لين تايتوم فيرس 13 دانو للمثل مريبه فين هادوا وليت اسرائيل ما الملاي ورا او فيهم الادوسيه تاعو you know when you read this scripture it shows you that even though Moses at that particular time because of the pressure of the people Moses now disobeyed the Lord and you know he did something that God did not ask him to do in the instant friend God is holy the second instant I want to read to you is the book of Isaiah chapter 6 Isaiah chapter 6 from verse 1 to verse 10. Let's read it. The holiness of God. How holy our God is. So many people take God for granted today. Let's read it. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 to 10. Isaiah chapter 6 from verse 1 to verse 10. في السنة اللي ميت السلطان أوتيا رأيتو ليت السيدي إيات في إترون في لولي ومرفوخ وديولو كين يملا التمبيو السرافيني كينو وقفين فوق كل ويهات كلو ست جوينا بيتنين كين ياتي وجو وبيتنين كين ياتي رجليخ وبيتنين كين إتير وويهات كين يايات لليهور ويهات أديس 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 والمولي تلزج دي لارت كلا مملية بالجلوريا تياو وسسين لاتبا تزوب اللي هنتداك لكن يايات 
وقت لي الدار كانت مملية بالدخان ات ين امبات يا يا حسرة ليا متلوفين عش ين راجل بشوفتي امنتسا ونمر فوست بوبلو بشوفتي امنتسا عش عيني يراو السلطان المولي تلزرجتي وفرستة تايدنا امبات تار ليا ويهت مسرافيني وفيدو كلو جمرة لكن هذا بمقاس تنار من فوق لارتال Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that in the year that King Uzziah died, Uzziah said, I saw the Lord. You know, one of the greatest scriptures in the Bible is this place. King Uzziah was hindering Isaiah from completely seeing the Lord. In the year that King Uzziah died, Isaiah said, I saw the Lord. Frank, can I tell you something today? God is holy. Anything in our life that is sinful, anything in our life that is not holy, we hinder us from seeing the Lord. Our friend right now, there are so many people that think God is like their own, uh, their own marketplace. They can play with God. But God is holy. Our God is holy. In fact, the Bible says, I am holy, so be ye holy. God wants us to keep ourselves holy. To, to keep ourselves pure that everything we do in our lives we will be able to live our life to his own glory. So whatever you're coming from today I want you to understand that unless we live a holy life before God some people will tell you God doesn't mind what we do with your time. Some young ladies will tell you God doesn't care what what you do with your body. So young men will tell you God doesn't care what you do with your sexuality. But let the Bible be our guide. The Bible says God is holy. So you and I have to be holy. God has given us his words that we may know him. He is a holy God. And when we are holy, we live our life to please him. You know, Jesus Christ came to this world to die for our sins. And the Bible says, because of the death of Jesus, you and I have not been introduced to a holy God. You and I have no access to God. That means you can enter into a new relationship with God. What is this relationship? Because God is holy, He expects us to be holy. But we cannot be holy on our own. Because, because the Bible says, all of us are sinners. We have all sinned before God. And so God is calling us back from the life of sin into a life of holiness. I know, friend, some people will say, how can it be possible that we will not live in sin? The Bible tells us, for this reason, the Son of God was manifested that he may destroy the work of the devil. Jesus came to reconcile us back to God. But the death of Jesus on the cross, you and I can come back again to God. God wants us to be holy. God doesn't entertain unholy things in his life, in his kingdom. And that, is, and that is why God tells us that we should live holy lives. Friend, you may say today, but that's the Old Testament. In today's world, it is too hard. There's a lot of tech 
technological advancement in our world. We have advanced technology. But God does not change. His standard does not change. Or the standard he has not changed. He's not going to change his word because of anybody. We should have the same idea of the Bible. God still remains the same. Allah, the Palestinians. In fact, the Bible says, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, the same today, and the same forever. The Bible also says, looking on to Jesus. The author and the finisher of our faith. He has died on the cross for you and I. And because he has given us the access to his kingdom, we are told to be holy. You know, the, the Bible tells us in John chapter 3 that a man called Nicodemus came to Jesus and told Jesus, Good master, what shall I do to be saved? And Jesus said, unless a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Now, it's important for us to notice that. Jesus did not say, unless a man is baptized, unless a man is confirmed, he said, unless a man is born again. The great thing that can happen to a man is to be born again. In fact, Nicodemus asked Jesus, how can a man be born again? When he is old, this experience is one that happens to someone that completely trust in Jesus Christ. Friend, God is holy. We cannot enter the kingdom of God with unholiness in our lives. Maybe right now you are hearing the sound of our voices and you are saying to yourself, oh, it is too hard. I can't do this. Friend, can I tell you? Today, you can and know the holiness of God. God loves you, my friend. He loves you so much. That is why Jesus is calling you and saying to you, come, come, let me forgive you. Let me set you free. Let me clean your heart. Once Jesus cleans you up, you know, I remember my life, the day Jesus touched me, I thank God that he forgave me my sins. And I thank God that because of his power, we can live a holy life for our God. Today is your day, my friend. You can live holy for God. If I right now, he is knocking at the door of your heart. He wants to come into your heart. He wants to change your life. He wants to forgive your sins. Will you open your door right now to him? You may say, but I have been a long time going to church. Can I tell you a news friend? Church cannot save you. You know you can be going to a mechanic workshop and pick up a spanner. Going to a mechanic workshop doesn't make you a mechanic. Just like, just like going to a church doesn't make you a Christian. You say, you say to me, what do you mean? It is only when we accept the finished work of Jesus Christ that we know exactly his purpose and plan for our lives. God is holy. You cannot approach a holy God. That is why the Bible tells us there is one mediator between God and man. The man Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only mediator between God and man. And because Jesus has died for you and I, we can have a new life. We can have a new life. Today, my friends, 
happened in your life. You may have been a prostitute. You may have robbed some people. You may have been a criminal. You may have been an adulterer. You may have been a terrible person. God says, there is forgiveness. There is forgiveness. If you come to him right now, he can forgive you. He can change your life. He can come into your heart right now. The Bible tells us, come to Jesus. Whatever your labor may be, whatever your prayer may be, he's got the power to forgive you. Will you make that decision right now? You may say to me, I don't know how to do that. Then you, I will pray with you right now. You know what the Bible says? Anyone that calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. That means you that means me. If you can only call upon the name of the Lord right now. Fred, don't switch off that TV right now. Don't change the channel right now. It's a very important time for you to discover the holiness of God. You can know the peace of God right now in your life. Will you pray with me right now? Will you ask Jesus to come into your heart? He's knocking at the door of your heart right now. Now is your time. I'm going to pray with you right now. Come on, pray with me right now. Let's pray. Say it loud with me. Lord Jesus, right now, I come before you. I ask you right now to forgive me all my sins. Come into my heart and change my life. Right now, I thank you for your power. I thank you for your grace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Friend, did you pray that prayer? Give us a call right now. We want to congratulate you and send you some more help in the mail. God can do greater things in your life. Today can be the beginning of a wonderful journey with God. Give us a call, friends. Remember, until we come your way again, on this hour of deliverance, remember, you have no problem. All you need is faith in God. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.